Hi guys, and I just want to welcome you all to the Happy Place Virtual Festival. I know right now the times are very challenging and this is a brilliant opportunity for us to celebrate the festival that we were going to have in person, but it's just such a great opportunity for us to share this all online in the safety of our homes. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Sam Howler. I am a former model. I am CEO and founder of Kind Company. Kind Company is an ethical clothing company with inspirational affirmation quotes on all of the t-shirts, raising the positivity in um, environmentally friendly across the whole board from organic cotton clothing to ethical standards throughout all of our manufacturing. I was asked to give a talk today on the power of self-love and kindness. Being in the modelling industry, I have experienced a lot of insecurities. I've experienced a lot of judgments and I have lost a lot of self-love for myself. Over the years, growing up and being in the industry itself, um, when I decided to step out of the industry and kind of focus on my welfare, my journey, my happiness, my fulfillment in life, um, I have learned an absolute lot and I would love to share it with you. So I firstly want to talk about the power of kindness. Kindness is something which we all talk about very freely. It's something that we all are very good at. We may become complacent sometimes in our life on how we give it, how we show it, but we are all very aware that kindness is is essential part of life. It's an essential part of, of being human, of, of caring, of community, all these things that we are very, very knowledgeable about. The main thing that I want to talk to everybody about today is self-love and kindness. I feel like there's a very strong connection between the two and not a lot of people talk about it. Have you ever sat down with a friend and you're having a conversation and they're asking you about advice and then you give your advice and you kind of stop and you think, that is the best advice ever. Why don't I ever listen to my advice? I know we've all said it, we've all said, why don't I listen to my own advice? This is where the element of self-love comes into it. We are so good at giving kindness. We have become brilliant at it, masters at it, but the only thing that we haven't become masters of is self-love. No one talks about it enough. It's kind of uncomfortable for people. Nobody wants to feel like I love myself. No one wants to feel like they're putting themselves on a pedestal. And I think that's where the miscommunication comes from. Self-love is not putting yourself on a pedestal. It is not making yourself higher or lower or, or in any extent different to anybody else that you know. Self-love is a personal journey. It's very personal to you. Once you start to love yourself unconditionally, your kindness will be free flowing throughout your entire life. We give kindness so freely to strangers. We give kindness so freely to our loved ones, to our friends, all the time. But are we giving kindness to ourselves? Can we really and truly give advice to others when we are not following that advice for ourselves? How you can start loving yourself to the point that you can now give kindness freely because you are not only giving kindness to others, you are also giving it to yourself. Everyone has heard the expression, you cannot give from an empty cup. And I always used to hear that expression and never fully understand it. And now I fully understand the expression. There are so many things in our life that we can give to others. We can give love, we can give hate, we can give anything. There's such a broad spectrum of, of different emotion, different range of feelings that we can give to people in this whole lifetime, in our entire lives. The problem is we keep giving if we keep giving and giving and giving, there's going to be nothing left. You will always have people reliant on you, whether you're a mother, a friend, a sister, a wife, a husband, any, you could be anything to anyone, but there is always someone looking to you. People look to you, whether you see that or not. They look to you. That's why your friends come to you for advice. That's why your family come to you for advice. People look to you. And it is in your best interest and their best interest to know that when they look to you, you are not empty. You are not running on, on zero. Your tank is full. Your tank of, of love for yourself, your passion, your fulfillment in life is full. 
And when they come to you for that advice, you can give it freely because you have given it to yourself first. There's a lot of discussions about self-love. Is self-love a selfish thing? It's not a selfish thing when you remember the principles of giving to other people. When you give to other people, self-love is so important because you need to remember to give to yourself. You cannot give the best advice. You cannot give the best parts of you to anybody unless you are fully equipped yourself. There are many things that I have tried and I keep trying on my self-love journey. Wearing a lot less makeup is definitely one of them. Being in the modeling industry, I would wear a lot of makeup. I would find myself putting makeup on to do social media posts. Yes, that sounds crazy, but I know, I know I'm not the only one. And I want to speak openly today about all these different things that you can do to help you on your journey of self-love. I would like everybody right now to sit and just think for a moment. We have so many things about ourselves that we want to change. I spent years of my life wanting to change certain things about myself, my exterior. I was so concerned about my exterior that my interior was just drying up. So I want us all to take a minute right now and think about something about your exterior that you want to change. After you've thought about it, I want you to ask yourself, why? Why do I want to change this about myself? There could be many reasons, many reasons. If one of the reasons is you had a bad experience when you were younger, you got bullied for this exterior, feel insecure about this inse because of anything that's happened in your past. You want to change this exterior because the media has made you feel like what you have and what everybody else wants is not aligning. There are many reasons why you may not love this exterior about yourself. And I want you to know that it's okay. No one tells you it's okay to not love every single bit about yourself because it is okay. We are imperfect people and it's okay that we don't love every part of ourselves. but self-love is accepting. Self-love is saying, this is not really what I like about myself, but do you know what? This is who I am. This is me. This is everything, everything that I am. And I am accepting of that. I am accepting of my flaws. We are just talking about external. There are so many internal things that we're not perfect on. We sometimes unintentionally hurt people that we love. We sometimes say things in the moment and we come out of the moment and think, oh, I shouldn't have said that, but that's okay too. As long as you are recognizing these things, as long as you are working on being the best possible version of yourself, you are on the journey of self-love. Self-love is accepting that you are not perfect. Self-love is giving yourself a hug when you're not at your best, but self-love is saying, it's okay, I got it wrong. Self-love is saying, but I'm going to learn from it and I'm going to help others learn from it. Self-love is inclusive of interior and your exterior. I'm going to share a little moment with you that I had. I started my self-love journey many years ago and it's a very long journey. I definitely am not there, but I want to share my experiences with everyone along the way. I decided to stop drinking alcohol for many reasons personal to me. It's not for everybody, but it was a personal journey for me that I had to take. And I went to a wedding. I was very, very nervous about this wedding. I, I would always go and have a glass of wine to kind of take the edge off. And I was very nervous about this wedding. I thought, oh my gosh, how am I going to dance? How am I going to have a good time? I was actually worried about this. I went to this wedding. I turned up. I was very nervous. I sat down on a bench. It was, it was with a whole bunch of people I didn't know. And I got talking to people. I felt really uncomfortable. And I was like, come on, you can do this, Sam. And I sat on the bench and I was chatting away to people. And then I had this moment. I looked over to the left of me and there was this young girl. She was about five, five or six. And the music was playing, the bands were playing, but no one had had drunk enough yet to, to get on the dance floor. And I looked over and she had this most beautiful dress on and she was dancing. She wasn't just, you know, 
you know how we do adult side side stepping she wasn't just side stepping she was dancing she was swirling she was so beautiful to watch and i needed that moment because that moment there reminded me of exactly why i'm on the self-love journey that little girl reminded me it doesn't matter what other people think of you it doesn't matter what people are saying be free in your authenticity be free in who you are i watched that little girl dance and I watched her dance without worrying about what anyone thought of her. And I looked at that little girl and I thought, you were my sign today. I needed to see you today to remind myself whilst I'm doing this. I had a great time at the wedding. I didn't drink any alcohol. I didn't dance. I didn't dance. But that little girl was a reminder to me that at the next event I go to, I can dance and I will dance. And I want you all to remember the things that give you joy. I want you to remember all the things that you want to do, but society is holding you back from doing those things that you want to do. Your worry of prejudgments and your worry of what people will say is holding you back from what you want to do. And your self-love journey is about giving kindness to yourself. It's about being kind to you. It's about being kind to others. It's about being free flowing in your authenticity and your pure love for yourself and for others. I want to thank you all for tuning in to the virtual festival today and hearing a slight snippet of my story. I'm currently writing my second book, which I'm so, so excited to share with you. It's going to be a lot larger than my first book. I hope you all have an amazing day. I hope you all think about the things that you want to do that give you joy, that give you happiness. And I want you thinking about all the things that you can give so freely. But one thing I will always tell you to remember is give freely to others, but also give so freely to yourself. Thank you for tuning in. And it's been great sharing this experience with you. You can follow me on Instagram at Sam Howlett. Kind Company is kindcompany.com and my book is called I Choose Me and it's available on amazon.co.uk. Thank you and don't forget to be kind to yourself and kind to others. If you like that video, there are loads more talks, classes and exclusive videos from the Happy Place Virtual Festival. So don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Do follow us on Instagram for constant updates and enjoy.